Ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back again in the Piston Playground. Last time, we did some really awesome, some of my favorite stuff I've ever done using the wave tables over there. We made some trippy illusions and just really cool optical things that were really, really pleasant to watch. And today, we're actually going to be doing more of that, because thanks to your comments, I've actually uh, been inspired to do some new experiments and new ideas that I think are going to look really, really cool. And also might actually be useful. So let's get to it. So first things first, um, something weird and interesting and bad and funny happened. Uh, so we have our, our double helix thing over here, uh, which was the, the more popular, one of the more popular ones from the last episode. And so there's this, there's this glitch that happens with the pistons where if you build, if you put blocks on something that has pistons extended, the pistons will actually reset automatically back to a uh, position um, just instantly if the pistons are like active or something. I don't really know what causes it, but I was building on this while it was going to build a little bit of a staircase for an experiment and uh, this happened. As you can see, this is, <laughs> oh boy, oh, it's still happening. Things are still happening. It got a little bit glitchy as you can clearly see. Luckily, I have it saved on a lift and we could just delete this and uh, pretend like this never happened, but I figured I'd record it just so you could see um, the hilarity that has ensued. So yeah, uh, a lot of you were saying that I could probably use, well, let me, for those of you that aren't familiar with the Piston Playground, first of all, check out the playlist. Second of all, let me show you what this thing actually is so I can show you what new thing I'm gonna be doing with it in this episode. All right, so this is uh, the experiment that I did in the last episode. And some of you were commenting that this could probably work as an elevator. And I think that that is a great idea. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an object in here and we're gonna see if it can push an object up. Let's see if it can be a transportation elevator. And then I'm gonna hop in it myself and see if it'll push me up. I mean, presumably if it can, if it can carry an object up, I guess we'll just do that. I guess let's, let's actually do two objects. Let's do one, one like that here. And then we'll do this one like this. All right, now let's see what happens. So there's a couple different things that I, I could see happening. Number one is it works and it just carries it on up. Number two, I think it could probably glitch through and squeeze them too hard and then they shoot out in some whatever direction. And then number three is they kind of work, but then they just fall out because it's a little bit too unstable. So let's see, what do you think is gonna happen? Put your predictions down below. I'll give you three seconds to do it. Two, one, and here we go. Oh, oh, hey, it's starting to, it's actually working. It's totally working. Now what happens when they get to the top? Oh, one of them goes out and now that one's kind of stuck. So this is a one way elevator. You can see that the wave only goes up repeatedly. It doesn't actually come back down at all. I wonder how would it be to program a wave that actually goes up and back down? I think that would be a lot more difficult to program. Um, but I'm not a logic person, so that, that it's not very intuitive to me. But next up, I'm gonna just go ahead and walk up in here, and we're gonna walk inside and see how it deals with me. Here we go. It, it's totally, oh, look at this. Oh, that was beautiful. Now what happens? Hey, look at that, totally works. So I think I might actually use this concept in the steampunk base because steampunk is about like pistons and stuff uh, as well as pipes and all that. So I think we could actually make a really unique and original elevator that just squeezes you up to the next floor. And if I do it like that, I'm not gonna have it be a wave sequence. I'm actually just gonna have it be a, a, the pistons come on in a wave and they come off in that same wave. So it'll be able to go, it'll be a two way elevator and be able to go up and down. So I think that'll be really cool. I think I'm gonna try that for tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed so you're not gonna miss that. All right, so let's actually hop back down. Let's actually look at it, whoa. I want to do that again and look straight up from the beginning because I wasn't looking straight up at the beginning there. Let's try this again. Okay, ready? Uh, it's like an, it's almost like just an unlimited screensaver except when it ends, then it becomes limited. 
All right, that was just the first idea for the new wave experiments. The next idea that you guys uh, suggested was I made the wave room. Here, let me spawn in the wave room if I can. It was a little bit laggy, but I've got an even better idea for the wave room to make it both less laggy and potentially more awesome. And who can argue with that? Oh boy, this thing is laggy when it is not welded to the ground. This is terrible. Okay, all right, this is gonna take... It's gonna take a little bit. Hold on a sec. Imagine if we lived in two frames a second. Imagine if that was just our world, where everything that we did happened at two frames per second. This is what it would look like. Oh, is it really not gonna let me weld this now? I gotta have to. I have to weld this higher. Eh. All right, that should give me some wiggle room. All right, I think it's gonna let me do it. Let's see how low can we go. How low can we get? Oh, okay. We go right there. Come on! 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 Come on, 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 come on. There we go. All right, we got it. So, this is the original wave room, which of course, it just sends a wave going all the way down with all four walls at the same time, just like that. And it looks cool from this side, but it also looks really cool, actually, if I close this in here. Yeah, so this was it. This was uh, this was uh, the grand finale to the last video, but some of you were saying that I should make uh, I should make them all go with each other because a lot they're all going into each other. So some of you were saying that I should have like the walls go in and out and then the ceiling go side to side with the walls or the other way around where they're all going in the same direction at the same time. And I think that I can do that. I have an idea on how to do that and also make it less laggy because there's only gonna be one set of pistons. So this might actually be better and more efficient than what we have right now. So I'm really looking forward to this, but we're gonna have to build something new for that. Actually, we might not have to build something completely new, we're just gonna have to build something different than this. So let's get on out of here, let's turn this off. The crazy thing is that I think all I need is one wave table. I think this is all I need right here to do the entire wave room. So we're gonna go based off of that. And you know what? You know, I'm gonna stick to the one first. I'm gonna build the entire wave room and then we're gonna see, maybe I'll even extend it longer, but I'm definitely gonna make the width and height bigger. So here's the plan. Here's why I think it's gonna be less laggy and um, why I only need one wave table. If I have the, the ground moving up and down and then I want the walls to move up and down, essentially everything's moving as one unit. So all I have to do is this. If I do that and then I do it all the way down, then everything is gonna be moving with each other, and that's exactly the idea that we were going for. So that's pretty much all I have to do. I'm just gonna make them a little bit longer so that we can uh, get a little bit more, a little bit more of a visual field going on here. So now all I'm gonna have to do, I'm probably gonna time lapse this. I have to do this for each individual one. I can't stretch them over because they have to all be on separate pistons. So that's gonna be the only tedious part. And you know what I might be able to do? I might actually be able to take this frame, cut it, and then save it, and then we just weld a bunch. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to weld a bunch of them, it seems like. But first, I need to expand it just a little bit more. All right, let's get building.
Okay, welcome back, people. I've encountered a very, very strange glitch. Um, I accidentally welded one of these things I missed and welded a, welded it a block off from where it was supposed to be. So I cut it so I could just delete it and spawn a new one. But here's what happens. If I try to delete this on a lift, I go ahead and put it down. You notice that it spawns not on the lift. It's over here and it's not attached to the lift. I'll go ahead and try to move it over here now. So I, I can't... I can't delete it. There's nothing on this lift right now, but it also erased the save that I did have of it, which is really weird. So now, because I, I saved it as just the, the the stock unnamed, now there is nothing that goes by unnamed. So I and I can't even now I have I basically have to build one all over again because I can't even save this on a lift. Even if I weld it, I thought maybe if I weld it, it would reset its blueprint. Because if I weld it here. Let's go ahead and just weld it like that. Oops, I think I accidentally welded it to that. I can just do this there. So now if I go ahead and delete it and try to carry it. Oh, wait, it may have actually worked. It may have actually worked. All right, so now I should be able to save it again. There we go. Now if I just weld this back on. We've only got two more. Just gonna do two more of these things. There we go, that looks right. All right, and now the final one. All right, it worked, it spawned in correctly. I mean, it spawned in correctly, not incorrectly. Spawned correctly in the game, you know what I mean. All right, and that is that. So now, I am de I definitely will wanna make this longer. Oh, you know what? I should actually put a, so put some walls up too, and then we can put a seat like right in the middle or something. Oh, this is gonna be great. But let's do it. Let's do a, a test right now. We'll do a test run. See how it works. Ah, yes. Is this what you wanted? Oh, this is disorienting. Is this not disorienting or what? Look at that. That looks really cool too, in and of itself. All the little lines make it look like the wall itself has waves on it. This is really disorienting, like the motion, like you don't know what's supposed to be moving and what's not supposed to be moving. Ah, oh. all right, so now I'm gonna close it in and put some lights. We can probably just put some lights underneath and that'll light up most of the inside. All right, we are closed in a giant box of emotion. Actually, it's gonna be a giant box of optical craziness in just a second, but first we gotta activate it. So I'm gonna press the button, I'm gonna hop in. There we go, and we're gonna, oh, I can't really close that now, can I? Wait a minute. Oh, whoops, apparently this one is actually not... Why is... I made a mistake somewhere. Somewhere is a mistake because this piston is not working. Why wouldn't that piston... Is it a weight thing? You think this is a weight thing? It might actually be too heavy. I might actually have to close it in with, um... Wait, is the last one having the same issue too? Oh, it is a weight thing. Disappointing. That is disappointing. All right, so we're gonna have to do it a different material. Hopefully we can close it in without it being too much weight. Let's see. How much am I gonna have to delete here before it even starts to work? There we go. Oh, see, now it's working. All right, so it is a weight thing. I, I didn't attach the blocks wrong. So let's, uh, let's delete it. Let's replace it with... Uh, I guess let's try concrete. Let's see if concrete can do it. Because concrete will look better than wood, texture-wise. All right, there's the concrete. Let's see how the concrete looks. Nope, still too much. All right, we're gonna have to try something other than concrete now. Let's try the wood. And if the wood can't do it, then... Whoops. All right, there's the wood. How's it gonna do? Huh. Okay. It seems to be doable. 
It's just a little tiniest bit, tiniest bit held back, but not, I don't think it's gonna be noticeable. All right, so we're gonna have to deal with the wood, unfortunately. All those lines are, might be a little bit distracting, but then again, the, the metal has lines too, but I mean, look at all those, look at all those. We don't like those. All right, so let's fill this in. We're gonna paint all these and we're gonna do this wall as well. All right, well, there it is. There, there it is with the wood. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, hop inside and see what it looks like. If I could just fill this in, please. This is very difficult. No, stop moving. Stop, stop it. Stop, there we go. All right, this is it. We are inside the wave room of waves and the motion and stuff. All right, and I'm getting no lag at all, so this is really not laggy. I'm actually really tempted. I might do this right now. I'm going to weld this onto itself to make it twice as long, because this seems a little bit short compared to its uh, its height. So let's do that and see how that looks, if that's any different. But man, this is actually a little bit disorienting. Actually, one thing I want to try first, let's put a chair. Where are my chairs at? There we go. We're going to put a chair right in the middle over here. There we go, and we're gonna go into first person. Let's look at it from this perspective. Ooh. Just, just give you a minute. Just, I'll just give you a minute to watch this. This is actually a little bit... The longer you look at it, the weirder it starts to look. It almost looks like... It almost looks like that slab of wood. I'm actually kinda... The wood actually makes it look interesting. It looks like the wood is a picture that's being focused on. And then it looks like it's just having like this delayed dragging effect where it's just like mechanically moving, but it takes like, it, there's like a trail that leads into the movement. It's really weird. I like this a lot. And look at the, like use your peripherals and look at the walls. That those lines on the walls also have like a weird effect as well. All right, let's double this thing up now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just see what else can, we can do with this. I have, I have one, I have another idea too. So after we double it up, another idea that I have, which is gonna be a little bit tedious, but I'll do it anyway. I want to see what this looks like if every single one of these is a different color. So I'm actually gonna do like a rainbow pattern going all the way down, and then see what that looks like. That sounds exciting to me. All right, let's get out of here. Look at this thing. This thing, it doesn't even really lag when it's not even welded. This is great. So much more, so much more efficient than that other one that had four separate wavetables. We only need one wavetable for this one. All right, I'm really happy about the way that this is turning out. Let's go ahead and weld it right here. All right, I have welded. That was the wrong thing to weld. All right, this should be the correct welding. Now, uh oh, I didn't keep track enough. I, oh, there it is. So in order to attach two of these, I have to make sure that the signal continues down the line. So I gotta make sure I just do that. All right, there we go. Now it should work. If I hit this switch, it should travel all the way down to the end. Let's just make sure. Oh, this actually looks really cool from the outside too. All right, it seems to be working. Excellent. Now I gotta make sure I can Get up here, let's create a staircase going up. Actually, I just use the ramp pieces. All right, there we go. And I gotta delete the middle wall. Yeah. Oh, there's two middle walls. Gotta go through two of them. I'm actually really curious. I don't know if I wanna do it in this episode or just pose the question to you guys. I'll, I'll upload this wave room to the workshop so that you guys can use it too. But I'm curious how many of these I could weld together um, before it got laggy. All right, are we ready? We're gonna go ahead and turn it on, gonna hop in. Make sure we take care of this wall here. Oh, that is the wrong color. All right, now let's see what this looks like. Ah, yes, there we go. Now this is this is a more suitable size for, or more suitable length for its size. I think this looks great. All right. Now let's put a seat up again and see how it does, how it looks from that perspective. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna leave the camera really, really still right now, and we're gonna see what happens. Just keep staring right at the middle of the wood on the other side, and that's when it looks, it starts to get trippy. Like all your, per all your peripherals start to do weird things.
Well, okay, we're back. Um, what time is it? Uh, all right. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get on to the next idea, which was uh, painting it in a rainbow kind of format, which I probably should have done before I welded it together. But I could just do the welding again. All right, let's get let's get to that. Actually, I'm gonna save this one since this one isn't leggy. I'm gonna save this one on the workshop, so you can use you guys can use this one if you want and do whatever you want to it. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool watching it stop. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Just gets it just all flattens out, but the wall the end wall keeps moving when everything else stops moving, and that's the last thing that stops. So that looks pretty cool. And actually, I'm kind of curious what it looks like from the outside before we uh, before we save this thing on the workshop. Let's let's take a look from the outside, see what this is gonna be like. That looks really weird, actually. I kind of want to get like an above an above view of it. So this looks interesting for sure. Wow. That looks unnatural. It looks like, it almost looks like a glitch in the game. It looks like this thing's glitching out, like one of those visual glitches that happens in videos. All right, I'm gonna call this the SM Wave Room. So look for that on the workshop. Hopefully I remember by the time the video comes out. All right, well now I have the annoyingly tedious task of uh, painting every single one of these individual pieces a different color. So let's get to that. Okay, I may have gone a little bit overboard and uh, duplicated this too many times because now I'm getting like 12 frames a second and I think I deleted my other one too. So yeah, that, that, that one's not over there anymore. So I think I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna cut off some random sections over here and hope that at some point we'll get all of our frames or most of our frames back at least. Let's go ahead and cut this off and delete it. Oh, hey, that was enough. Awesome. All right, so it is this big, which I think is even bigger than the previous wave room, wave, wave room. So now all I have to do is fill in the walls and we should be good to go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is probably one of the most amazing things I may have created. Really looking forward to seeing how this looks in the wave form. Oop, I missed a little tiny spot right over here. Um, so this actually wasn't too bad to make and I actually answered two questions. I'm gonna be answering two questions with this first was uh, What's the what's the rainbow room gonna look like and second is how long how many of those could I? Uh, weld together without getting any frame drops or lag because uh, we answered that kind of already So yeah, this is about as long as it can be without having too many frame issues for my computer at least So let's get in here. Let's press the button We're gonna get in here and we're gonna let this thing fly after we fill in the door of course. All right, here we go All right, we're not gonna look quite yet. There we go. Now. Let's go ahead and paint this Yeah, there we go. All right, you guys ready to see it? Are you guys ready to see this? This is gonna be awesome. Here we go in three, two, one. Wait a minute. Apparently, <laughs> I didn't hook up the connection after I welded it onto the thing. Okay, now we have closed ourselves in and we are finally ready to see it for real this time in three, two, one. It's a rainbow wonderland of beautiful amazingness. Oh, this is actually, this is way better. Cause now you can see like the color waves, like the actual individual colors moving rather than just shadows moving. All right, I gotta get the seat on the wall here so we can get a more centered view. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Woo! All right, this is screenshot worthy right here. That's what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I guess I'll probably upload this to the workshop as well as a secondary version of it. I'll call this one the R Rainbow Wave Room, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll leave links down in the description if I remember to do this before it goes live. But uh, let me know what you guys thought and if you have any other piston playground experiments. They don't have to be wavetable experiments, remember. Uh, just other ways to use and have fun with pistons. Tomorrow I should be coming back with the suspended mountain base using the piston elevator idea. And I might be taking a look at some more of your creations to uh, add to the suspended base as well. And if you want to know how to contribute to the builds, to especially the suspended mountain base, check the links down below. One of them is a link to my Discord. You can join there and you can post your workshop links in uh, the, the specific text channel that is made for that. Hope to see you guys there. Leave a like if you like this video. This has been Scrapman, 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.